Hey guys, Brad with 1894 Outdoors and welcome to another video. Today I have something a little different for you guys. Uh, my dad raises bees and every year he sets out swarm traps to hopefully catch uh, bees that split from their hive and go out and leave like their base hive. Um, and he goes out and he puts these swarm traps up all over like the county just hoping to catch one and he actually just caught his first one. So we have it here in a box. It's sealed up right now, so they can't get out. But we're going to take it down, going to open it up so they can kind of get around, and then eventually he's going to be putting these into a new hive. All right, so this is the swarm trap. And right now, it's sealed up right here. So they're not coming out. And I am completely in the bee suit. My first time wearing one. It's kind of cool. I'm not a huge fan of bees, but should be pretty cool. I couldn't miss the opportunity. All right, he's opening it up for the first time. We have no idea what it's going to look like inside. This swarm trap had fallen, so he's laying on its side. So he doesn't know how the honeycomb will be or how many bees are going to be in here. So this is going to be interesting. Just a few. Yeah. Wow. Two dead ones from over the winter. Look at that. So, ideally, the frames should come out and then he was going to transfer them over into one of these new hives, like those loose frames. But because this swarm trap fell, all the wax and honey is really caked in there and it's kind of making them hard to get out. Let's see if we can get them out. All right, guys, so it is the next day. The sun was going down and you just really don't want to mess with bees at night. So now we're going to open this hive up and see what's inside. And he's going to try and transfer everything over into their new hive. Getting his gloves on. He'll smoke them to keep it a little safer and we'll start cutting this apart. Now the reason it's so messed up is because it had fallen over and all the wax had kind of got caked in the side. Normally they'd be in really nice sheets, but today they're definitely not. So it's going to take some work to get these apart. Adding smoke actually makes it so they feel that their hives are on fire, so they're going to try to protect their honey. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Man, look at all the bees in there. Wow. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> Problem is a lot of drone. Might be a drone layer. I mean, the queen may have been killed. And then it becomes a a drone laying package. It looks like it's all drone. Now is like will there be a chance of them having a new queen or is that like the end of the hive? Well I have to re introduce a new queen in there when I get one. I'm not saying it's a drone layer but it's a good possibility. Yeah there's a lot in there. See the crazy comb? Yeah, let me go to the other side so I can see it. There's one Oh, house. man. There's all kinds of swarm cups. I don't see any. A lot of drone comb. There's a drone.
just hundreds of thousands of bees. That is something else. Yep, here's the larvae that we broke apart. Check and see if they have mites. Doesn't look like they have mites right now. But there's tons and tons and tons of bees. So that's partial draw comb. This is worker larvae here. I'm gonna try to put that in. Next. All right, so this is one he set up with rubber bands to keep it a little straighter. That looks really nice. Goes in the hive. They run away from the smoke. I gotta tell you guys, this is not my hobby. I'm gonna stick to mail detecting. Uh, I'm not even touching them, and it's nerve-wracking to have bees landing on you and buzzing you and mad at you. I'll let my dad stick to this. It's fascinating, though. All right, so we're going to pull the front off now. He said this was the initial hive before it fell. So this is the comb that they, that they made first. Cool. These are all the bees that moved to the top. So I'll just move them in into the hive that where I want them. That's a lot of bees. Yep, a whole lot of bees. I apologize if you guys are afraid of bees. Because <laughs> this is definitely not the video for you if you are. No, well, maybe they won't be afraid of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see how nice these bees are. So now what we're gonna try to do is try to get these bees into or the frames out, out. This one. even though they're cemented together yeah well now that i can work on the back side i may be able to get these frames out of here may <laughs> that's the question yeah, ideally these would just slide out like he's been doing over here <laughs> but being that they boy <laughs> what no i'm just saying it's like You can't see so many bees. Yeah. Oh, I just dropped a lot of bees. You dropped them? Well, they just they like fell flopped down. out. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna put a. And you're, this is a normal amount of bees. Oh yeah, well, I don't know for a swarm. Well, it just feels like it's... This is a hive. This is what a full hive colony looks like when it's busting out the seams in the spring. Before it splits. Before it splits. This hive was probably gonna split here very shortly. That's why there's so many drones. So again, he's trying to get the combs out and he's putting them into their new hive. I haven't looked for the queen. I'd love to see her. <laughs> this is new brood. So the queen was in here at least within the last four to five days. I wish I could find her. It would make my life really happy. <laughs> this hive's actually gonna be really busting at the seams. Not too long from now. These things are gonna have all these cap brood. It's all gonna be little baby bees. And it's gonna take more frames than what I have now. You're gonna have to try and split them ASAP. Yeah, I'm gonna have to split these. It's really cool. Now I just wanna say again that he keeps saying these bees are incredibly calm. Yes, they're very, very, very calm bees. Apparently a normal hive would not be this forgiving. Some bees, some hives. Some hives are calmer than others and some are... This is definitely a hive that I want to split from and make a main part of my colony. Alright, so I just learned something really interesting. This whole time we've been watching for the queen. And we think and dad thinks that he knows which one she's in so if you listen to these bees they're really loud 
But these bees over here, dead silent. So these bees feel safe, and these ones are wondering where their queen is, he thinks. But that's I typical, like... That's the typical... A roaring hive is looking for their queen, a silent hive says we have our queen. And I like these bees a lot better. He officially has all the combs out and put into the nice hive and look how many bees are still left just hanging on. Just tens of thousands. It's pretty cool. Alright, now he's going to try and fix this comb over here that's not... The tangled comb. <laughs> yeah, where it had laid on its side. And he said this is what they don't like, is when you start trying to knock them off. It's starting to get dark and cold. Just a few. Yeah. Just a handful. Alright, he's gonna knock a handful off. Again, this is what they don't tend to like. So he's just transfer them all now. This is our last one. All stacked up nice, and that's gonna be this project over for the day. It actually came together pretty good for what we started with. So the end goal now is in a couple weeks he's gonna be trying to split this into two hives, or maybe more. Might do about six or eight. Oh, okay. Six or eight splits. Really try and take these bees. He really likes these bees because of how friendly they are. All right, guys. So that is gonna end today's video. I hope you liked this. Very different content, uh, definitely something new, but figured it was too neat to not show you guys and I really enjoyed myself. First time putting the suit on, definitely made me not as afraid of bees as I was before. Um, and again, these were nice bees, but still, it's, it's something else being that close to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of bees. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, definitely let me know in the comments and if you, uh, haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you would. It just really helps the channel grow, and I will see you guys in the next video. Metal detecting video coming out really soon. See you guys. Bye.